KTN News. A preliminary report on last month's mid-air plane accident at Nairobi's National Park indicates that fatigue, alcohol or drugs were not factors in the crash that claimed the lives of two flight crew members. The toxicological examination revealed no psychological issues in the student pilot and her trainer. 44 passengers and crew survived the accident aboard Safari Lynx Dash 8 bound for Diani that collided with the Cessna aircraft operated by the duo. KTN's Francis Ontomwa now reports on Kenya's first ever mid-air crash that has thrust the country into the global spotlight. March 5th, 2024, at about 9.34 a.m., news erupted that a mid-air aircraft collision had occurred at the Nairobi National Park. Panic gripped Wilson Airport, where the two planes had made departure minutes apart. Moments later, a scene of chaos. The Cessna C-172M registration number 5YNNJ, operated by 99's flying school, was found grounded and lying in opposite direction to the flight path. Two people were dead. The plane had collided mid-air with passenger plane Dash 8 aircraft registration 5YSLK, belonging to Safari Link Aviation Limited, that was on a commercial scheduled passenger flight destined for Ukunda Airport in Kwale County. A statement by Safari Link Limited said, the crew on the passenger plane had a loud bang and felt an impact. The report authored by the Aircraft Accident Investigation Department in the Ministry of Transport says a decision was immediately made to have the aircraft return back to Wilson. All the 44 occupants on board survived uninjured. The passenger plane only getting minor damage to the aircraft's right horizontal stabilizer, the icing boot. Results of autopsy examination conducted on one of the flight crew indicated that the injuries were due to blunt force trauma consistent with a plane crash. The autopsy ruled out that flight crew could have been on prescribed drugs or alcohol that could have affected the performance of flight crew members. According to records available to the investigation by the approved training organization, both pilots had valid licenses to operate. While small aircraft accidents aren't uncommon, this marks Kenya's first reported mid-air collision. The Chucky Dadri mid-air collision that occurred on 12 November 1996 in New Delhi, India, killed all 349 people, making it the world's deadliest mid-air collision the deadliest aviation accident to occur in India, and the third deadliest aircraft accident in the history of aviation. Francis Ontomoa, KTN News, Nairobi. Coming up, we talk to the 